oil production in America. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that is hilarious. It's, it's Senator, no laughing. Do you think that's hilarious? No, it's no laughing matter when people are suffering and some have to decide whether this winter they're going to be able to eat or heat their homes with natural gas prices at a seven year high gas at the pump at a seven year high. And then Joe Biden and large entourage of Democrats from the House and the Senate and his cabinet all jetting off to Europe to a climate conference. And for what purpose? What did he do there? He pledged allegiance to the flag of the United Nations instead of to the flag of the United States. He basically apologized for America. He begged OPEC and Putin to create more energy, to make more energy. And he promised to raise energy prices in America. We know why prices are high. Biden, day number one, killed the Keystone XL pipeline. He's blocked oil and gas exploration leasing opportunities in the Rocky Mountain West. Big impact in my home state of Wyoming. Shut down Alaska energy to the point that today we're using more oil from Russia than we are from Alaska. And these guys are climate hypocrites. I mean, their carbon footprint for going to this conference was so much larger than Vladimir Putin's or President Xi's of China because they stayed home. The American people deserve accountability of how much taxpayer dollars we as taxpayers paid for this effort of all of these liberal Democrats to head to Europe on the taxpayer dime. Well, you were demanding that accountability last week. I saw your tweets. You wanted to know how much this trip cost. We saw the 85 vehicle uh, motorcade that Biden had driving through Italy before he got to Glasgow. Did you ever get your answer in terms of how much it cost? Uh, not yet. We know this conference is the most expensive climate conference in history, and we're going to continue to bang on this administration and to get and demand answers. So, Senator, there is a real disregard for taxpayer money in this administration. We see that over and over again with the $85 billion in weapons left on the ground in Afghanistan, the $100 million in materials to build a wall left in Texas, and now the, the flight secretly flying migrants to various secret airports, uh, private airports across the country, and now this plan to pay $450,000 per migrant. What are you going to do about it? And now they want to also spend all of this money and raise our taxes to pay for all of their their wishes. Well, you're absolutely right, because they bloated up their tax and spending spree now to four trillion dollars. I have a seven page summary 